This is MJ. I'm an author, I'm an artist, I'm an analyzer. Find all my work at mjmunoz.com. Prepare yourself for some off-the-cuff book talk as I tackle another middle-grade book chapter by chapter. Secret Garden Chapter 6 doesn't quite follow up on the horror or mystery vibe that was uh, set at the end of Chapter 5 that like spiked and caught my attention wanted me to keep reading, or got me to want to keep reading. But uh, Mary does explore the house because she wants to find out what's going on, and uh, it's pretty interesting. It's well, it's like simple, like nothing major happens, except at the very end of the chapter, she finds something that Mrs. Medlock is not happy that she found, and Medlock tells her, you didn't find anything, you didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and uh, if you know what's good for you, you won't talk about it anymore, and you'll stay in your room. Uh, she also talks about her getting a governess, she threatens to box her ears, which I specifically remember from the movie, because I had no idea at the time what that meant, and I asked, what's that mean? And I'm pretty sure my parents just said, some form of spanking. Uh, and I thought, how do you spank someone's ears? Anyway, um, so that's interesting. She, uh, I find it especially interesting that in one of the rooms, well, two things that are interesting. She finds a portrait of a little girl who kind of reminds her of herself. She's got sharp, curious eyes, and she's a little stiff. And she sees her in two different rooms. Uh, at least one of the rooms has this cabinetry. I don't know if it's like a china cabinet deal or type of deal where there's a glass, you know, so you look through it and see what's in there. Anyway, there's this cabinet that has all this, uh, all these little elephants in it. They're, uh, I, she knows a lot about elephants because of being in India, she says, or the narrator says. And I feel like she's seen these Indian elephant figures in India before and she assumes that they got left behind she mentions that all her books were left behind in india so maybe everything else was as well i kind of remember the movie there being a relic that she has and it matches something that the uh a, a character will meet later in the book has i don't know if that's legit or if they just rolled it all in to compress it for the you know turning a however many hour you know five hour long book into a you know an hour and a half long movie or whatever that i i don't think it was more than 90 minutes probably it was the 90s. They didn't do super long kids' movies. Anyway, um, but I don't know that that's going to happen here, but I got all excited because I thought, oh, that's from the movie. And uh, maybe it's not. or Maybe it's exclusively from the movie. It's not going to have any significance here. But it was interesting. She's complained about not having anything to play with before, and now that she has these, you know, glass, I, I think glass porcelain, whatever, uh, beautiful little elephant things to play with, she's all excited about it and uh, figures that's something she should do. And she does it until she gets tired of it. And then she nicely arranges them all back and puts them in their place and then leaves. Um, but that, because the house is so big, she gets turned around. And that's when she finds that there's a tapestry. And when she touches that tapestry, she finds there's a door behind it. And she goes to open the door. And before she can do that, Medlock gets to her. And she's coming, jangling with all her keys to stop her from doing whatever she's doing. You know, opening this door. And... Uh, that's when she yells at her and tells her, no, you didn't see anything. You didn't hear anything. Um, and away with you to your room. And she mentions uh, that Craven has talked about getting her governess, governess to look after her. And she says, like, she basically, she implies, or the implication is, I'm going to talk to the master and get this governess to look after you because you're too much trouble. And uh, anyway, it's pretty interesting. So again, we're having a culture clash in a couple ways of, she wasn't raised with authority, respect, uh, asking people permission for things. She was just raised with getting and taking and doing whatever she wanted to and also being attended to and having her Aya being always on top of her to the point where she was irritated with her and didn't want, her, didn't want to have her around anymore. And uh, now she's just so free to do whatever she wants that that's having unintended consequences for the people who are there. And of course, they're not thinking about what it was like for her in India. They're just thinking about what it's like for anybody there. And they're operating as if she's an English born and bred kid in an English, I don't know, noble house or, you know, wealthy house or whatever manor house, let's just say for argument's sake. And, uh, they don't really know how to handle her. So it's causing a little bit of issue and I'm sure that'll continue. So let's, uh, let's keep going through this book chapter by chapter and seeing what happens and seeing, uh, how things develop with Mary and everybody else who she's interacting with. Uh, let me know what you think about this chapter and the book as a whole. And check out the, uh, follow the link to find the uh, playlist for me doing uh, 
all of Secret Garden chapter, or talking about all of Secret Garden chapter by chapter, if I finish it. Uh, I dropped uh, Maniac Miguel, so there's no guarantee I won't drop uh, Secret Garden, but you can at least follow the link and look for it. And if you go to the, the real important link, which takes you to mjmundas.com, my website, you can find everything I do there. I'll have uh, a Secret Garden page um, or like master post type thing that I'll have that says whether or not it's completed or ongoing or incomplete or what. Um, and there's also, there's also should be one of those for all the other books that I've covered on Fortress Fiction chapter by chapter so far. So go check it out. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. I invite you to comment, ask questions, and share your thoughts with me. It's always more fun when you're part of the conversation. Until next time, keep reading, be well, and do good things. Visit mjmunoz.com for more of my work and help me build up the fortress fiction.